And now, your first alert weather. It's been a hot and sunny day out there with a little bit of smoke still drifting through the region. And we're going to pick up on more smoke, especially in central and western Idaho for tomorrow as we get in through the next couple of days. Yeah, we'll be dealing with some smoke, but we're still pulling in the heat and a couple isolated thunderstorms. Right now in Idaho Falls, we got 95 degrees with mainly sunny conditions. A few clouds to the east, some thunderstorms building to the foothills closer towards far eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Cam, mostly clear. A few clouds as you look here around the mountains around Pocatello with 94 at the airport just west of town. And we go into the mountains with salmon seeing smoky and sunny conditions at 92 degrees. Winds fairly light. That's been good for the firefighting efforts. And then also in Jackson, we've been seeing some sunshine, not as smoky, but 84 degrees and a few thunderclouds trying to get into Jackson, but most of the thunderclouds are really not hitting in town right now in Jackson. As we go over to Viper, you can see the thunderstorm threat really hitting areas of the Star Valley and then also getting in towards Bear Lake County with one little thunderstorm there east of Montpelier heading to the southeast. A couple thunderstorms also east of Jackson into the mountains there, but we're getting mostly just some high elevation mountain thunderstorms at this point and a couple clouds east of Idaho. Falls. We expect to see a few isolated thunderstorms in there for tonight, but generally it's going to be a hot and mainly dry forecast as we work through your Wednesday. High pressure practically right on top of us with more of that monsoonal moisture wrapping in here from the south as we get rolling to the later part of this work week. The fires and smoke page want to show you here that we got the smoke blanketing areas of central and western Idaho. High pressure right now keeping that smoke pretty much confined just to the west of the Snake River Plain, but it's going to be very smoky for our viewers in central Idaho again for tomorrow, and some of that smoke getting out towards Boise with very smoky conditions heading towards the Treasure Valley, and you can see the line there, that smoke hitting Arco and points to the west. So Arco and areas into central Idaho still stuck with the smoke. We'll also have some smoke-filled skies as you work in to Island Park and West Yellowstone, Montana. Temperatures in the Snake River Plain tomorrow still getting into those mid 90s. It's going to be a hot one here as we work through your midweek with mostly sunny conditions and a few isolated thunderstorms. In fact, let's go to Viper Castle, show you a couple thunderstorms up here around Yellowstone later tonight, and we'll get a couple thunderstorms in here for tomorrow afternoon into areas of extreme southeastern Idaho and western Wyoming. But it's still going to be very dry for the Snake River Plain and as you head through central and western Idaho. A very low risk of thunderstorms tomorrow. We'll get a couple thunder clouds in here for Thursday. You can see maybe a few thunderstorms developing in the mountains around Pocatello and southeastern Idaho for Thursday afternoon, but the risk is still going to be very low for the thunderstorm threat on Thursday. More of that monsoonal energy rolling in from the south as we get into Friday and Saturday, and we have a decent chance of getting some wet weather in here to close out the work week and start the weekend off on a bit of a soggy note. Temperatures tomorrow 94, McCammon 88 in Soda Springs with 93 in Preston. Rexburg's going to be about 92 tomorrow with 92 in St. Anthony. 87 in Jackson with 86 in West Yellowstone. Upper 90s tomorrow in Salmon and Chalice with the smoke. Lower 90s in Mackey and Arco tomorrow with highs in Idaho Falls at 94. 94 also the expected high around Blackfoot and 96 the expected high in Pocatello with 97 out towards American Falls and we're into the mid 90s. They swing out along I-86 to I-84. Thunderstorms really start to pick up in earnest here for Friday, Saturday as you get into higher elevation communities like Jackson and Island Park. Highs will be falling back as well. We're going to be looking at the numbers in the upper 70s to lower 80s for Friday and Saturday in the higher elevations. For Blackfoot and the Snake River Plain here, we got highs at 94 for Wednesday and Thursday. A few thunderstorms thrown in there for Friday and Saturday with 86 the expected high on Friday. Taking a look at Rexburg, highs here are getting around numbers into the low 90s for Wednesday and Thursday. We're expecting to see temperatures here into the mid 80s by Friday, the lower 80s on Saturday. Salmon, highs close to 100 for tomorrow and Thursday. We're expecting to see temperatures around 93 for Friday, 92 for Saturday. A couple thunderstorms working for central Idaho, but the thunderstorm threat for the weekend looking rather light here for the mountains of central Idaho. The Snake River Plain and getting areas closer to Jackson, better chance of seeing those thunderstorms, especially for Friday and Saturday, with Pocatello aiming those temperatures into the mid to upper 90s for Wednesday and Thursday. We're going to be hitting the upper 80s for Friday and the mid to upper 80s for this weekend. Idaho Falls, highs around 94 for tomorrow, and we got 93 for Thursday. We're going to be getting those highs into the 80s for Friday and Saturday with the thunderstorms and that moisture cooling us off as we get into the weekend. So, unfortunately, if you have plans <laughs> Friday and Saturday, of course, Mother Nature has to do a punch to the gut. 
If you want to take the boat out, yeah, don't do it on Saturday because it looks like we have a decent chance of thunderstorms and it's going to be cooler outside. So uh, try to get that fishing in before that happens. <laughs> it's got all this other time. I know, right? Leading up to it, after it. <laughs> it has to hit us Friday and Saturday. Yeah. And then clears out by Sunday. But oh, a couple yeah. thunderstorms on Sunday. But we start warming back up into close to 90 next week. All right. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, right? Yeah, exactly. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. We'll take it. You bet. Well, when we come back, it is a proposal.